My name is Dr. Robin Scott. I am here today to help you with accounting. I am creating a short series of videos that will help you with your accounting education. I will go about teaching you some accounting terms, topics, and um, basics that will help you in your accounting classes. I have to first give credit where credit is due, and that is to Jonathan Dorn. I'm going to use one of his acronyms to help you along your way. First thing though, let's start with the accounting equation. What is the accounting equation? It's the basis of accounting. So let's start there. Assets equal liabilities plus equity. Okay, three words. What does that mean? Assets are things that we own, okay? Things that we own, it could be a table, a chair, the iPad that I'm using, the car, the house, those type of things. Liabilities are things that you owe, O-W-E. It could be money, it could be services, so things that you owe to someone else. And then your equity is your business, your part, okay? Now equity, Equity is comprised of four things. Equity is capital, your part of the business. It is withdrawal, what you take from the business. It is revenue, what you earn from the business. And then it's expenses. What you have to pay for the business, okay? So equity is comprised of these four things, capital, withdrawal, revenue, and expenses, okay? Let's move on. When we talk about the accounting equation, we also talk about a T account. A T account looks like what it is, a T. You have your left side and your right side. Your left side is your debit side. Your right side, is your credit. The top is the account. So this is what you would call a T account. <clears throat> your assets, your liabilities, your revenues, your expenses, all of those are types of accounts. So you have your debit and you have your credit. Each type of account has a normal balance. What is normal? Normal is the side that makes that account increase, okay? So go up in value. This is where Dr. Dorn, Jonathan Dorn comes in. He has an acronym and what we would call that is BC Adler. So we would write this up here, D, C, A, L, okay? D, C, A, L. He says it, and I'm gonna say it, anytime you're doing a transaction, anytime you're doing anything in accounting, it's good to start here. D, C, A, L, and a T account, okay? The D is for debit. 
The C is for credit. Now let's start with A, A, D, E. The A is asset. This is draw or withdrawal. And then you have expenses. All of these, the normal side is the debit side. Then we have blur. Liabilities. Equity. And revenue. Okay? So you have assets, withdrawal, expenses, liabilities, equity, and revenue. D, C, A. These are your normal balances. Okay? So if I ask you what would make an asset increase, your answer would be a debit. If I ask you what would make a liability increase, your answer would be a credit. Now, it is also vice versa, which means if I ask you what would decrease an asset, a credit. What would decrease a liability, it would be a debit. Okay, these are your day one things that you need to know. Your accounting equation, assets equals liabilities plus equity, and then your DC Adler. Okay, debit, left side, credit, right side, assets, withdrawal, and expenses on my debit side liabilities, equity, and revenue on my credit side. These are day one things. These are things that you will use each and every day that you do accounting. It will help you. Today, it helps me. So I hope that I have helped you along your way. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time.